So in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure TD200 PABS um, intercom extension with the console phone. I have the console phone here. So I'm going to press program star star one two three four ash then i'll go ahead and press enter enter then i have to press the enter on this nest on the screen you can see there's this nest button there so i'll press the nest there then i am going to either press 003 or use my um, arrow keys to scroll down to 003 which is the program number for extensions so i have some list of um, numbers that i want to change to the right numbers so this is like a hotel and they have different rooms so i want to configure it according to the room number so i have room 401 which is ringing as 115 but i don't want that i want it to be 401 exactly with the room number instead of any other number so i'm going to go to where i have four with my arrow keys i'll scroll down to 401 so i'll keep scrolling till i get to 401 then i will change the number to to 401 that it used to be so this is um i'll keep scrolling till i get to to the number and then change it to what i want All right, so 401 is supposed to be 401, but it's ringing as 155. So this is 155, but I want this 155 to be 401 because 401 should be 401. So I'm going to go ahead and change 155, extension number 155 to 401. So each time you call 401, it's going to ring in the room 401. I'm going to store and I'm going to save it. So remember, after changing the number, I have to press the store button for this to be stored on the programming of your PABS. So I'm going to go to the next number and do the same thing. And that is how I'll continue till I'm able to finish the list. So this is 401 is now 401 and that is what I want. I want room 401 to be 401 instead of 155 so i'm going i'll go ahead and change 156 to 402 i'm going to repeat the same process i'll scroll down to to the number and then i'll change it to 402 so this i'll scroll down to the initial number of from 402 then I'll change it to 402. So room 402 was initially ringing as 156. 156. So I'll change 156 to be 402. And I'm going to hit the store button so that I'll save it. Then I'll press my enter key. Next, I'll go to the next. And then I'll continue the same thing. Now you can see that room 402 is 402. You can see that the extension number is saved. So I'll continue the same process for every other one. 